Oh, Smeg. What? What? What is that? Look at this place. I don't see anything different than normal. Well, I suppose it's only noticeable to the trained eye, but don't you remember that I never leave my dirty sock basket lying open? Oh yeah, not since the time one of the socks mutated and tried to kill us all. It took five days to track that thing down, but we finally managed to kill it with my emergency bottle of deodorant. Actually, now that you come to mention it, I think I remember a Crichton and giving Starbug a bit of dust around before he was kidnapped. Zezba must have turned this place upside down while she was here. I don't think I remember, I, I didn't think I remembered there being a dagger sticking out of me wardrobe door. What shall we do next? Well, there's no chance of us finding Zezba, Rimmer, or any of the others now, so we might as well head through the wormhole and back home. Okay, Dave, while we were while we were at the welcome break, I got one of the scudders to grab some food from around the back of the little shop before they say anything. You've not been poisoned. Before you say anything, you've not been poisoned. So why don't you go and make yourself up something while I get us ready to take off? Oh, they've not been poisoned. Thanks, all. Okay. So he got me some... Picked up one of my socks, ew. Curry. Let's operate the curry. take off yet nearly I've programmed all the data in the nav comp and it's just getting ready what else do you want what do you want to do when we get back I don't know usually remember makes me go through his paperclip collection with him but I suppose he can't now is there anything else you wanted to know it certainly is messy in here isn't it <coughs> I bet it'll stay that way too. The last thing you worked on was that clay sculpture of Christine Kachansky naked. What else do you want? Nothing. Okay. Hole. One of the viruses. Okay. More stuff over here. Yoink. It's a book.
Okay, I have a book, a rod. Can't do that, okay. Origami for beginners. No, oh, I can. Oh, okay. All right, now I have a dagger. Cellophane wrapper on this is tighter than Scrooge on Payday. Okay, that's probably what the dagger's for. Okay, we did that. I have no idea why we're doing any of this stuff, honestly. label says they're non-flammable, which is a pity. <coughs> All right. Let's, 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 let's test, let's test this theory. Why are we doing any why are we doing this? I don't I, I don't I don't understand This this is this is moon logic. This is such moon. This is such garbage moon logic
I'm moonlocking again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna up that number. Cause this, 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 these puzzles are ridiculously stupid. I did that. I melted it, but what 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 does that have to do with anything? Oh, the straw apparently. Jeez. Whoo! some pen I got I got some pens nice okay this this I think use this to get the, the this stuff. I was told what it was. It's not ink hall, it's thick, smells funny, I found it on the floor. from the lab are inconclusive but the stuff's been narrowed down to two of lantern's positive viruses so it's something that can that'll make me feel good possibly the virus is either a a luck virus or a sexual magnetism virus <clears throat> okay when we first got them they were both blue but we died the Magnetism virus red. Well, 
Well, if it's a luck virus, then it should be able to control your environment. You could do anything. The probability of us finding Rimmer and the others now is zero, but taking the virus would increase the probability up to whatever you choose. Yep. All right. You know anything about the viruses really do? No, I don't. Well, that's great. It's great if it's a luck virus, but what if it isn't? Well, we don't know much about the sexual magnetism of the virus, but my theory is that if you take a strong enough dose, anyone you want will attract you to. Attract to you, no matter where in space they are. Okay. It's going to be that one. You know it. Find more, I suppose. Well, there's more in the hole. Dave, something's happening outside. What is it? A time hole has materialized just outside the station. What a stroke of luck. That could take us anywhere. I think we can safely say that it was luck luck virus on the floor. I reckon that if we go through here, we'll find Rimmer the cat and Crichton on the other side. Right then, I'll just get us started and we'll see if you're right. Give me a minute. I'll plot a course. Well, hurry back, Hall. I've got a strange urge to play you at poker. All right, and we're leaving. Oh, part five. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh no, is this gonna be an action sequence? That wasn't part of the deal. Hang on a sec, Hall. Where's the time hole taking us to exactly? Well, our location is near enough to the place we first headed off to and we only traveled back one week. We're in the day after they disappeared. Wait, I think I see a ship. Where? I must remind you to stop pop into spec savers next time we pass one. Oh yeah, it's a ship. Sorry, I, I thought it was just an odd shaped star. Can the scanners tell us who's driving the thing? I'll give it a go. Here are the results. Apparently the craft is in control of a life form calling themselves Zezba. That's a shock. Zedzba's here. That can't be right. She was on the planet at the time of the kidnapping. Perhaps the luck virus was contaminated and it's taking us to the wrong place. There's a bit of difference in the in the people. There's a bit of difference in the people I wanted to see. There's Rimmer, who's had less girlfriends than a man who spent his entire life in solitary confinement, and Zezba, the Emerald en en Enchantress, who could have won the Miss Black Widow Award every year since it started. There's only one thing that I, that could have happened then. Zezba must have traveled through the time hole before us and come out at a slightly earlier time. Then she kidnapped the crew knowing who they were from what you told her. And she's here and on the planet with the other me? Right. We've got to get inside the ship if there's going to be any chance of us rescuing them. Okay, I'll engage Cloak. Wait, we have Cloak? When, since when? We're in. Where do we go now? What makes you think we... I know where... I know me way around this ship. I don't know, you couldn't even make your way around a well signposted cardboard box. Okay, I guess we go forward. That's the only way we can go. This what could be around any corner. I wouldn't wander around unless you know where you're going. Okay. 
talk to Holly. set it up so map what you're the green triangle pointing in the direction you're facing the flashing green dot is rimmer thanks all oh oh we're in a maze Let's see Go this way wait are we actually gonna get to rimmer no huh no way. Oh, there, 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 there he is. Well, not there he is. Palm reader. Someone who has access to the prison put their hand on the, there, the door will open. If he doesn't have access, an alarm will sound. I reckon that if I get an imprint of someone's hand who has access, I will be able to get in. But I'll need first some doughy stuff to get the imprint in. Okay. All right. Hey, that's us. Look at that. That's us. Okay, I got some string. Excellent. Underwear. A food preparer. Okay, so this will make food if I put the proper thing in there. Lister. of the boxes are margarine, kinetic wine, telekinetic wine, mimosian telekinetic wine, eggs, chips, papadons, horse spleen, pot noodles, and vegetables. Okay. Well, I can't. <laughs> Thank you. 
Perhaps some device that will shoot it up there. Okay. Well, this is this is actually kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. CD slot. Okay. What does this What does this say? I can't read the sign that says something about what this room is. How annoying is that? Hologram projection. Oh, it's hologram projection. Okay. Is this a dead end or does this actually go somewhere? Oh, it does go somewhere. Office plan. can't just pull why not why can't I just pull open a drawer interesting floor the neat looking floor Looks like a few places in here, too. Recipe for pastry. You need margarine, flour, and water. Okay. What's down here? The toilets. A plunger. Plunger. What did I just drop? Oh. They use Visual Basic 3. I know that. Yoink! That's the answer, Visual Basic 3.
They have a lot of lamp too. Okay. I need to get flour, water, and margarine. Okay, this is just, just, this is just a bunch of moon logic. I, 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 I'm sorry. This is just a bunch of garbage moon logic. I'm, I, the, the, the person who wrote this game made a walkthrough of it. And it's, it's absolutely trash moon logic, this whole, this whole game. I'm just, just, just letting you know. Like, we have to apparently empty out the lava lamp. Oh, you can't hear me. Oh, you couldn't hear me. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. This button on my mind doesn't always work. I really need to keep my mic display up all the time. Maybe I can make this thing bigger. Maybe I can move my audio mixer and make it like so I can see all of the audio options. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. There, then I can see all of it. The problem is I How do I make, how do I, oh, there we go. Yeah, I like it. That's much better. 
Now I can see all of my audio sources. Including my microphone. You thought it was you? No, it was me. Why are we doing this? Okay, I, I'm, 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 I'm admitting I'm following a walkthrough right now because I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna moon logic practically everything in this game. We're making apparently a cup for water. And in order to do that, we make a cone and put wax in it. So we have a cup that'll hold water. Like. I mean. Some of these puzzles are clever, but they're just over the top or they're very poorly described. Like. Oh, we gotta turn it on. So yeah, now it is a wax coated piece of paper. So now we have to go back. No, wait, yes, wait. Can't remember where I'm going, this way? Yes. Let me fill up this cone with water from the sink. I don't know why. I don't know why. Let me go here. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Now. Oh. Okay. This is to get us some flour, okay. Wait, wait, what? <coughs> okay. We got some flour. That's how that, that was how we got the flour. Now 
This is this is nothing like Red Dwarf. I, I don't think this even deserves to be called Red Dwarf the fan game. You know, I don't I don't think it deserves it. I think this is the storeroom. Yeah. So if we were supposed to make something. So I was thinking we could make. Uh, that not a bad idea. If I was making a bow and arrow that wouldn't stretch. Okay. Okay. I need an arrow plunger. Is what I needed to make the dough. Okay, and now we need to go back to the food maker thingy and make the food. Are we actually going to see Rimmer or Crichton at all? We're gonna see any of them. Now I think we need to go to the hologram thing and use the the thing. Where is it at? Is it there? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Warning, this corrupted subject cannot move away from hologram projection to engage. Do we talk to him? What the smeg is going on? I was just adjusting the power supply and now I'm here. Hang on. What am I doing in the hologram simulation suite? Oh, smeg, I'm dead, aren't I? Typical. Uh, hi, how are you? Well, I was prison officer Miller. Prison officer, I need your help, man. 
Can you get me into this prison on this floor? You heard the computer, you brainless son of a air hostess. I can't leave the prison cage unless you help me. Could I have a handprint? I'll solve all your problems if you do. Very well, here you go. <clears throat> now, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna turn you off. Wait a minute. That'll solve his problems. I don't think that's enough though, but we'll try it. Whoops. Nope. Back. I don't think that's it. That's probably not enough. The print in here is inverted. This would detect a problem. Okay. <clears throat> We need to fill it with something. No. Oh, she's gone now. Chocolate. Maybe some chocolate. We need to melt the chocolate. Ah, I got a chocolate hand. No, I don't have a garden. I do not have a garden. Ugh. Just a few plants. No, that's not where I want to go. Here. Oh my god, are we actually going to see Rimmer? It's, th it's the gang! Look at them! That does not look like Rimmer. Alright. Mr. Lister, this is wonderful. Listy, I can't believe it. You came to rescue us. Yeah, we couldn't have done the same. We, we wouldn't have done the same for you. Oh, thanks, Cat. Talk about a warm welcome. But how'd you do it, sir? It's a long story. Besides, I feel like somehow I've been controlled over the last week. Week? We were only kidnapped this morning. Yeah, it's a long story. Anyway, what happened to you? Uh, it was a sexy alien woman. May I interrupt you, sir? It's Oh, she's a gelf. There you go. They, 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 they relieved that, they relieved that issue. May I interrupt, sir? It has long been known that the existence of aliens is as ridiculous as Mr. Rimmer's record collection. Miss Zesba is a gelf. I 
you kind of sound like Crichton. Yelf! She doesn't look like a Yelf. Yes, sir, that's because you are most familiar with the species Kinetawawi. Yes, Listy, most familiar. Who knows what went on in your wedding night, eh? Then what sort of Yelf is she? If my database is correct, sir, uh, then she is in fact a pleasure Gelf. What, like Camille? She can't be. Everyone's everyone's seen her the same way. Uh, she's a <coughs> she's a predecessor to the pleasure Gelf, sir. When her species were created, the technology had not advanced so far that the Gelf could make people see it in different see it in different ways. The way. They found most desirable. Therefore, the, their creators had to build a race of gelfs who were always beautiful in their only shape. That's why she can't. She, that's why she doesn't look like something out of my litter tray. Precisely, the the product was a race of gelfs who were both attracted to humans and attracted to by humans. So what happened? Why is their entire population now on one planet? Uh, this is a pretty major problem. There, there was a pretty major problem. Not only were the Gelfs attracted to the look of humans, they also grew fond of the taste. When the creators didn't, couldn't find a way to solve the dilemma, they rounded up all the Gelfs and sent them through a time gate to a distant planet. And that was the planet I stumbled across when uh, I first discovered Zezva. Oh, this is Lister. And that was the planet I stumbled across when I first discovered Zezva. So, how did you all get kidnapped by such a stick insect of a creature? One quick flick of the wrist and her leg would break faster than the cat would, would the law if it was illegal to be vain, self-obsessed, and big-headed. Don't forget handsome, really, really handsome. Not to mention stupid. So come on, what happened? Well, I was in the library at the time. Of course, I could tell she fancied me right away, but I couldn't. I didn't want to let on that I was on to her. I decided to go with her in the hopes of tricking her into telling me her evil plans. No, sir, I think you're mistaken. And what spank would you know? Are you calling me some sort of liar? If you were, if you were referring to any situation than this, then yes, I would be. However. Now, I'm just saying that in the shock of today's events it may have brought out a touch of amnesia. Of course it has, and I have an excellent memory. I'm sorry, sir, but you're wrong. I was observing you in a security camera while defumigating Mr. Lister's sock basket. Here's what really happened. Come quickly, Lister is the Lister's in the most embarrassing situation you could think of. Spanking camera, security cameras. Whoever invented them should be dumped in the planet for the rest of those man-eating maniacs. What about you, Cat? Need I ask why you went with her? I couldn't help it, bud. I tried to resist, but eventually she persuaded me to come with her. So what happened? I was asleep, and she appeared out of nowhere. Er, excuse. Hi, I'm the cat. I suppose she couldn't get into my room because there was that problem with the door controls. Well, it looks like it's up to me to get you out of here. All right, well, now we're in here. <coughs> well, this is Rimmer's controller, so. Holly, can this get Rimmer out somehow? Hang about. I'll just take a look. Uh, okay, I've got it. Well, go on then. The mouth organ. Beethoven was famous for playing the mouth organ. Holly, you're supposed to be thinking of a way to get Rimmer out. Oh yeah, sorry. My mind tends to wander when I get bored. Okay, I've got, I've got it. Just give me a, just give me a while to program the remote. Are you ready, Hall? Yep. Point at Rimmer and press the button. Here it goes. You'd better have a pretty damn brilliant explanation for this. Holly, what have you done, man? I figured the problem was he couldn't get out of the cage, so he can just stroll around the bars now. 
Yes, and when I get out of here, perhaps I can get an interview for a job in a flea circus. No problem, man. I'll take you out, and then you'll be back to your normal size. You'd better do. Pick up. Oh, I'm fine, Lister. I was going to go to the AR suite and take a vacation to in Barbados this summer. However, after having an, uh, having after having a taster of the paradise in your pop your pocket, I will cancel that and book two weeks in here. Hang on, I'm getting something. The guilty alien thinks she's coming. And tonight on the menu is Dave Lister, a la Zezbon, a delicate cat blood sauce. Uh oh. Oh no. The next password is only the good. Only the good. I think that's probably the last password. Well, Rubber's gonna have to save us all, it looks like. It looks like Rimmer's gonna have to save us all. Oh no. Later. <clears throat> ah, welcome back to the land of the living. You're just in time to watch me start to prepare the main course. Someone will save me. Well, that'll do better. Well, they better do that after all the trouble I went through to save them. I don't think so, somehow. Now, get ready to be become a human shish kebab. Slightly earlier. Listy, what's going on in, up there? I feel like I'm inside Mary Poppins' travel bag. Get me out! <clears throat> I've got to find what's going on. Looks like I'm in charge now. Whoa, look at paper pickup. Oh, okay, I see. We can only hold one thing. Oh, interesting. Click to use stuff. Oh, that means I can probably push it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll probably be done for the day. Isn't it? What kind of game is it? Actually. I, th I thought that was an adventure game, actually. in an arcade okay maybe, maybe I'm wrong don't expect me to climb that again there's a pencil a key this is actually kind of it's you know this is actually kind of cool honestly I mean you know this is kind of cool
Oh, that works. Now the gum is all wet. Gross. Oh, -ho. we got that. <coughs> Rimmer is doing work here. but okay. What just happened? What just, what, what's going on? Later. <coughs> Where is she? All packed up and ready to leave us. Ah, excellent. I love a good space burial. Burial? Well, you know, not burial exactly, more like shooting her body off into the great unknown, but who cares? As long as we're rid of her. I don't understand her. You speak as if she were dead. You've fired a bazooka wait, at her at point blank range. I would think she was. You've just seen, been in the kit. I've just been in the kitchen now, and you've done an excellent job of removing the charred flesh from the wall. Not a mark in sight. What did you use? A turbo-powered paint stripper with and ten bottles of stain devil? 
Hey, Cyber Gelf, I watched it as well. We didn't shoot her. What? I told you to. We decided it wasn't the right thing to do. She was unarmed and unconscious. <laughs> Before we even got to her. Call me stupid, but wouldn't that make it even easier for you to finish her off? I couldn't bring myself to do it, sir. After the entire contents of Mr. Lister's long johns fell on top of her, she was badly injured. Cuts, bruises, bumps on the head to rival the dome at Center Parks caused by a very heavy book and a toilet brush in what looks like a very uncomfortable place. So I doubt she would notice you blasted her brains out. Didn't you want to end her misery? We decided to send her back to her own planet. They can treat her there. After all the, after all she's done to us, the only punishment you're gonna give her is the peril of hospital food? I would think she deserves a bit more than that. Quit arguing, let's get out of here. Don't, don't think, don't you know this purple suit with green sequins does not go with bright blue and pink walls? What if someone sees me? <coughs> I completely agree. Let's kill her and get back to the door. We're sending her home, Rimmer. Once she gets out of the hospital, she's gonna be put on trial. That's the punishment. Trial? For what? She's done something I bet she'll get life for. What's she done? Treason? First degree murder? Pirating on the high seas? Her entire bedroom is almost entirely made of wood. Wood? That's it? Don't you think that, that if it's illegal to own something made of wood, you'd have I'd have you and that stupid guitar of yours banged up or they, you'd say discordant? You don't understand, sir. Wood is highly valuable by the uh, Quiridians before the planet's supply completely disappear. No, I forbid it. I'll charge. That'll charge. That'll charge will never stick. I say we take her out of the pot and goop her. No, Rimmer. Besides, if it doesn't work, She'd sure get something for abandoning her species and chasing me halfway across the galaxy. Anyway, who wanted to get their hands on you that bloody, that badly deserves to be on the mental hospital, not a prison? Give it up. You're not gonna win the argument. I don't see there is an argument. My case is simple. If you hadn't, bra if I hadn't bravely and heroically cut a hole in Lister's pocket, allowing the contents to crush her, she would have killed us. Let's do the same to her. No. Yes, and as highest ranked crew member aboard, I order it. Oh, Rimmer, don't bring that into it. We don't have to listen to him, do we, Criters? Well, he is the hot, he is higher than me, sir. Look, I can solve this. Satisfied, launch the pod. And let's get the hell out of here. Okay, Crichton. Excellent. Would you be so kind as to launch the escape pod? Destination Destination Quired? Pod launch. Let's go. No, I forbid it! No, I forbid it! I may only be one inch tall, but you soft to listen to me. Crichton, Lister. Get the pod back this very instant. Do you know the penalty for tricking your superior officer in one day twice? Listen to me. Somebody stamp on him, would you? Somebody stamp on him, would you? Aha, uh -huh. is that the end? I think that's the end. That is the end. Well, I would say the puzzles were kind of garbage. Like, like pretty garbage.